You know, I've been at this since I was a kid. And I'm well past that now. All right, so for me, it's more than just about making a sales pitch to sell a screenplay. For me, it's for all the marbles. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Justin Jackson, creator and inspiring screenwriter for the 2021 Oaxaca Film Festival official selection, Life in the Country. I was inspired to write Life in the Country from my time in Middle Tennessee, the surrounding areas, and the co-workers I had during that time. Now, although Nashville is the capital city and seen throughout the story, the story itself is primarily based in Columbia, Tennessee, which is further along I-65 South. The protagonist of the story, one Rustin Brown, is a mid-20s go-hard country fellow centered in the concept of family. Rustin, or Rusta Fuss as he's nicknamed, is, for lack of a better term, a mama's boy that lives a simple, everyday life. He spends his days working as a material handler slash forklift operator for a local warehousing company, not too far from Columbia, but just his country. His late afternoons and evenings are spent tending to his mother's farm, being with his longtime girlfriend Maggie, and or his small group of close friends. You'll find empathy for Rustin once you realize he's the nucleus of a network of family and friends, the people, places, and things that really make him tick. An opportunity presents itself to Rustin in the form of a charming insurance company owner named Chauncey Springdale. What is this opportunity, you may ask? An age-old profession, robbing banks. Rustin presents this to his group of friends and is met with little to no resistance at all. In this new situation, the Band of Brothers find themselves in uncharted territory, working purely off adrenaline and the thrill of it all. But through the course of time, you go to see that their motivations grow from just trying to scrounge all the money they can and stash it for a rainy day to trying to secure and sustain a bright, foreseeable future, whatever that is. It's here that we find a conflict emerges with an old friend wearing a badge. Now, when you read Life in the Country, you'll kind of get a feel of the town meets the den of thieves. But to be honest with you, I was actually inspired to write Life in the Country from the Academy Award winning film, No Country for Old Men. With that being said, I would like to take this time to thank the Oaxaca Film Festival for making Life in the Country an official selection in this year's competition. I'd like to thank Studio Plug Memphis for helping me with this pitch video. And most of all, I'd like to thank you good people for taking time out of your busy schedule to look at this pitch video in hopes that you'll take time to read Life in the Country and find it to be a suitable project that you and your respective film company can and would like to see made into an actual film. Until then, be safe and enjoy life.